day with Mr. Streamer. Oh, I say, there's lots of uh, people online, potentially, who may be able to see me. Ah, oh, how splendid. First thing I see is that Robin's had the glamour in. How exciting. Right. So we're going to say hello to Pizzazz, hello Spanner, hello Anne, hello Sarah, hello Robin. Now Pizzazz is now Pizpaz, I see. Um, and I'm just saying hello Catherine, hello Leslie. Don't we normally do quizzes on Zoom? No, we don't do quizzes on Zoom. In fact, I've never done quizzes on Zoom because I've never done Zoom with you guys. Why? Oh my gosh, my guys. And then I'm just having a look and seeing if I've missed anybody else. Do you need a pen and paper? Well, by all means, if you would like to write your answers down. Um, I'm not sure if many people do, but you certainly can and you can keep score. Hello, Michael. Long time no see. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Ginny. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Michelle. Now, am I slightly tilted or is it me? Is my head tilted? Leslie does and she keeps score. That's going to slightly annoy me, that is. Let's put that down a little bit. Oh! Yes, I'm just getting everything just so because, as you know, it's all about the vibe in the background. Um, and hopefully you'll see certain things in the background. I've just actually slightly twisted my shoulder. Uh, have I lightened my hair? Am I in paid PJs? This is not a PJ, no, it's a lovely fluffy um, fleecy top. I could not possibly discuss if these are PJ bottoms. Uh, I haven't had the heating on in here in this room since Thursday evening. And I thought to myself, my golly, it might be a little bit chilly. So um, I am all nice and snugglied. Hello, Trista. I did think about wearing something. Oh, hello, Emma of the Braisby. How are you getting on? Um, stop talking about my bottom, Ginny. You're outrageous. Um, and now, of course, I've completely forgot. Oh, yes. No, no idea what I was saying. Stop ruining my train of thought. Well, can anybody see anything exciting in the background? Not in the foreground, which is myself. Hello, Sue. We've got a Susan, we've got a Sue. How many Sues have we got on? We like to have a collection of Sues. Three toys. Well done. Well done. Hello, there's Donna. Well, listen, look, I've gone all festive. Super excited. Um, these are indeed, of course, Hello Kitty. Now, I've had these a while, by the way. I haven't bought them specially. This is Hello Kitty Sheep. Um, this is me if I was Hello Kitty. Oh, hello, Linda. Linda obviously popped in while I was showing you my sheep. And then this is Mike's going to be all over the place. I know looking at these. This is Hello Kitty Bunny. Does it get more exciting? No, I don't think so. Hello, Mary. Claire Sanderson, a.k.a. Spanner's Mummy, is on. Isn't, aren't they just so cute? Um, I confess they, they're usually in a bag. I don't know why. I need to get a shelf so that they can show their beauteousness. Possibly, possibly, hi Anne, possibly on a work call. So everybody can see. But I think that's just me. Family resemblance. Oh, sorry, nearly dropped my sheep. That's not something you hear every day. And it took me a while to line them up. So um, now they're probably all going to misbehave and fall all over the place. And it won't look as marvellous. What were you doing today? I was lining up my, uh, lining up the toys. Hello, Natalie. I knew somebody was going to ask, why did I leave the tag on them? 
Uh, well, I left the tag on them for uh, two reasons. A, because I like to leave the tag on. And B, when I die, which hopefully won't be for a very long time, they will be worth a huge amount of money. And my niece will be able to sell them and be very, very rich. Now, I'm also going to, because I've prepared my pre-live for you. Uh, no, Natalie, they have been with me for many, many years. And they're not going anywhere. Good Lord. Who returns cuddly toys? Now, this is a family heirloom. I was having a WhatsApp conversation with my um, sister, brother and mother. Because I have a funny feeling my grandmother made this. And... Um, she gave it to the three of us and then there were little eggs in it. Now, what I would say is my grandmother passed probably about 20 years ago. So these are not the eggs that she gave us. Um, these are the eggs from my sister. So for anybody who's been on a tour with my sister Lorna, she gave me these little eggs. And I just thought, again, found in the plastic bag uh, with some cuddly toys. Look, and again, I would say it's too cute to eat. But we absolutely know that is not the case. <laughs> um, so there we are. I am all indeed in a festive fashion for you for Easter. Right, you sit back down there. And then, of course, just to, uh, because you can't have enough bunnies in your life. Also the tag, Natalie. Um, this says pure baby. So I think this is meant for uh, uh, babies, uh, of which obviously I am one, um, nearly. Um, it's also got the plastic hook, so I could actually put a nail on and hang it up. Um, and um, that was, uh, my sister has a Ukrainian mum and daughter living with her, and that came for my birthday last year. So that's a very cute bunny. Um, I would, I cannot eat them all. I did, uh, my mother gave me a little Cadbury's uh, buttons egg, which I opened. And I put half on the side. And um, when I went into the kitchen recently, I looked and the egg had mysteriously cracked into three parts. And there appeared to be what looked like little teeth marks on there. So, of course, any normal person would ch chuck out the chocolate and go, this is absolutely hideous. Baloo has been up going, mm, do I like this? No, I don't. <laughs> um but I'm not every person, so I ate it. thought, well, you know, if I start growing fur all over my face and meowing, well, no, that was the wrong thing to do. So um, I hope you're all uh, ready. Look, clipboard, bury a fish. Aren't I a fish as a quiz master? Robin's coming on down. Of course, Bob the bunny. So, um, Emma, are you still in hospital or you're at home? Um, and has anybody else got any injuries that we need to know about? Emma got a foster hamster yesterday. Of course she did. Silly me. She's, she's hip home now. Um, Emma's either on strong medication or she's been drinking. Um, a New York City meetup. That's slightly unfair. That's a little bit of a expense for me to fly over. Nat and I, road trip. Woo! Dawn, are your shoulders gone? Dawn, this is my shoulder. I mean, I don't mean this is my shoulder. This is also my shoulder. This is the um, dodgy shoulder. So it's my right. Um, Emma's drunk on antibiotics and steroids. I'm just on steroids. Somebody's pinged me a message. Um, is Beatrice with us? Beatrice, can somebody message Beatrice for me, please? Because um, she um, went to the theatre earlier today, so I made sure that the quiz was after her um, theatre and um, she doesn't appear. Thank you. Thank you, Spanner. I was going to name drop you then. Leslie's on steroids. OK, then. So we've got three people on steroids. Um, Emma's drunk on asteroids. No, Ronnie's drunk on asteroids. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe I shouldn't ask. Anybody have any nice weather? Could you believe it? Yesterday and today I sat outside. It was absolutely marvellous. 
um, a little bit of sun, um, not exactly tropical, not, not bikini or indeed t-shirt weather, but it was rather lovely. Mike has vertigo, so <laughs> if his comments start spinning around you'll know why. Well that surely leads into Kylie. Mike, how have you got vertigo? Is that down to a, an ear infection? Is that what brings on vertigo? Um, I never, I get confused between what's the fear of heights, kind of Sarah's on the wine, Ginny's on the gin, Pizazz is inhaling painkillers, and Emma enjoyed the steak pies. I'll be honest, I don't really eat steak or pies. Um, and it's raining with Mary. It's sunny and warmish in Pennsylvania. No, it's not the fear of heights, but what is the fear of heights? Because there is vertigo, the film isn't there. Catherine's drinking rum. What was, uh, that was um, Alfred Hitchcock, wasn't it? Vertigo. What's the fear of heights? Come on guys, you can have that as a little quiz question. What's the actual proper name? Vertigo is dizziness. <laughs> so Mike, you're calling Mike dizzy, is that what you're saying? Is he a dizzy blonde? Jimmy Stewart? Right, it's already descended. Oh, hello Fran! Well, if I'd known everybody was drinking, I actually, I wouldn't have done, because if I recall on New Year's Eve, I had a sip of, sip of Prosecco and it all went terribly wrong. Acrophobia, isn't that fear of spiders? No, that's ac arachnoph... Uh, mm. Acrophobia. So, mm. Acrophobia, that sounds far dramatic. Um, Claire suffers from vertigo. We're all falling apart. Hello, Seth. Acrophobia. Um, well, I have acrophobia, but I'm not scared of spiders, which is arachnophobia, is it? Oh, yes, of course, with the different time zones. Please don't start drinking if it's only breakfast. Who's furthest away? Hello, Wendy, David and Daisy. Arachrophobia is a mental health condition in which the individual experiences an intense fear of heights. Well, I haven't got a mental health condition terrified of heights. I'm just terrified of heights. It's absolutely outrageous. Mental health. I mean, are they saying all, um, all fears? Old Trista's got three separate old Sutra sounds coming. Alindra also sometimes gets vertigo. Mike, it looks like you're in good company. Um, and for some reason, Robin doesn't like elevators. Um, ah, Tish, I did wonder if you would be joining us. Beatrice, how about Nicole? She's dreadful, Beatrice. She did go. Oh, lol, let's hope we... Um, we don't... Ah, Nicole is here. Good, Nicole. What did Nicole say? Hello there, Nicole. Is your mother coming? Did you go to the uh, theatre with your mother? I just assumed you did. How outrageous, as if your mother couldn't go with somebody else to the theatre. And Tish, of course, is no longer... Tish, sorry. Nicole is no longer um, in Australia. She is now back in Zurich, I'm guessing. Um, it's a good job I start my 15 minutes early. There's so many hellos, I can't keep up. I did a quiz. I did a quiz uh, for a charity quiz through work and um, I wrote the answers down, which was my, I was scribe and um, I wasn't very good, which is of course, as we know, why I do these. Um, and there were no cat questions. Oh, you did. So, Nicole, would Beatrice be Beatrice Mummy be joining us, or has Beatrice Mummy already forgotten with her Swiss cheese brain? Which actually, I can't remember if I said that about your mother or your mother said it. Anyway, it's been several months. I don't mind spiders. Hello, Claire Lethargy. Yes, happy Easter to everybody. I don't mind spiders, and I live and let live. Um. 
can't remember if I've had a tarantula on me or not. I've been very close to a tarantula. You would think I would know. Hmm. Maybe I may have had a tarantula on my hand. I may not have done. Hello, Sandra. Um, it was a while ago. There was also a fox. It was at the local vets. There was some sort of wildlife thingy. Um, and there was a tarantula. And hello, Laurie. And there was a fox. Right. Well, goodness gracious me. So, um, hello, Inga. It is now 7.45 p.m. UK time. And um, whatever time it is in your world is the time that it is. Of course, the um, clocks went forward this morning. And um, I looked at the clock and it said it was, I think it was said it was about nine, nine o'clock. And I thought to myself, I should uh, get up. And I got up and then I looked at my uh, phone and um, I realised that it was showing two times. So Maidstone had two times, two time zones. And I realised that actually it was, uh, the real time was a lot early. And quite frankly, for a Sunday, I didn't really need to get up so early, but I had. So that's the end of that one. Let's start with the quiz. So obviously it's Easter and I will not divulge at this point whether or not any of the questions are to do with Easter type things. Hopefully you will um, you will indeed work that out at the end of the quiz. Now, starting off, and I expect ah Beatrice is here. Well done. Um, I am expecting Tish to do incredibly well on this section. What shape are a sheep's pupils? And by pupils, before I have some funny chap in there, I don't mean students. I mean the ones. On the eyes. What shape are a sheep's pupils? Hello Tina. We've got over, we've got over, we've got over, rectangle, we've got round, egg-shaped, oval, 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 rectangular, square, oval. So cute. Could somebody let Tina know that I think she's probably not watching live? Um, oblong, oval, I don't know who Leslie was either, pizzazz, oval, we've got oblong, Nicole wasn't live either, square looking at this screen, I, 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 Captain, is everybody live? Could somebody put in there and say make sure you're all live because we jolly well know that actually Nicole's already admitted. Tina, I don't think, is, and heaven knows what Beatrice is up to. Um, the answer is rectangular. Now, this allows for a wild, wild, no, it doesn't allow for a wild um, field of vision. It's for a wide field of vision which means that it's very helpful to look out for predators. Quite a few people said rectangular. Apparently they can see for about 270 to 320 degrees. So that's really spectacular. So they'll be looking forward, but they can actually see there. So if you imagine you were a sheep with rectangular pupils, that's weird, isn't it weird? Anyway, that's only the first question. No, I know. I never knew that. And I absolutely adore sheep. So I feel a little bit, a little bit ignoramus until, of course, now. Can you give me the name for a female sheep who has given birth to a lamb? Tina, we're on question two. But a quiz would not be a quiz, Tina, without you being slightly confused. We have you, we have you, we have mummy sheep, we have an ook, we have an ook, we've got a mother and a you, a mum, a you, a you, a mummy sheep, a you, a you, what else would they give birth to? A banana, 
doesn't know the Dutch word, a yow, a yow, a Betty, a clever girl, a you, a how. Tina might be with us, who knows? A yow, an oo, an oo, Linda's googling eyes. That emoji looks so wrong, Tish. Nobody's actually got the right answer yet. Anybody? Anybody with the right answer? A name for a female sheep who's given birth to a lamb. And when I say give birth to a lamb, Robin's asking me to repeat the question. I think I just did. The name for a female sheep who's given birth to a lamb. It is a dam. It's a dam. So, a you is a female sheep. Oh, I like that laminator. Ah, oh, Donna says, is it a dam? Well, I'm not sure because I just gave the answer, but it is a dam and it's a D-A-M, just to be clear. Now, talking about mummies and sheepies. How often does a sheep come into season every 12 months? That's really badly written. How often, in a period of 12 months, does a sheep come into season? And I'm not like talking about fashion. Autumn, winter. How often? Tish is saying 12 times. Leslie's saying once. We've got four, we've got three, we've got twice, we've got once, we've got eight times, we've got once, we've got twice, we've got four times, 24 times every 16 days. It's very specific, Margaret. Once, once, once. Four, six, once. For 24 times a year. I mean, I am pleased that we have some correct answers this time. Six, 24 or so, I think this is interesting. I love the fact that a lot of you are saying the wrong answer. But a, an answer that's strange, but repeated many times. Hmm. I wonder if they get cramps. Where little... <laughs> no, let's not go there, Lenny. This is a family show. Um... 15, Dawn is there on 15, and uh, for, those, for those of you that said 24, you are incorrect. It is indeed once. And, of course, don't forget, there's always going to be one sheep that bucks the trend. But generally, a you would only come into season once. When... Does a lamb become a sheep? <laughs> One, two, twelve months at his bar mitzvah. One year old, twelve months old when they get their diploma at one year one year, after one year, when it's old enough, six months, 12 months, six weeks, <laughs> 12 months. Michelle, that's very young for a little lamb. He's suddenly become an, a, an adult sheep here, just six weeks. That's a lot of pressure on a little baby lamb. Six months. Oh, a bar mitzvah. Oh, they're just all coming in today. When it starts a friend sheep, when its parents tell them it is three years. Mike, are you actually answering any questions? I haven't seen anything ridiculous from you, have I? Or is it because he's gone dizzy? And... Well, anyway, a lamb becomes a sheep at 12 months old. Six weeks, Michelle. It's only a teeny baby. You'd be sending off into the world going to sheep school. What is the plural word for sheep? Oh, I'm just, I'm not, you don't need to say sorry to me, Michelle. You need to say sorry to the sheep. Robin, I'm not sure which question you need to me to repeat. 
What is the plural, plural, plural word for a sheep? You have one sheep, you have many sheep. What do you call them? What is the plural? So say, for example, I have a mouse, I have three mice. So I have one sheep, I have three That is a lot of sheep. I'll be honest, there is an official answer and there is one that I use, which I believe, although incorrect, is acceptable in terms of the quiz. Mm. Inga, I think, to be honest, um, no, because they're not lammies, are they, Tish? Because they're sheep. They're over 12 months old. Now, the plural of sheep is sheep. You have one sheep, you have three sheep. However, I will accept sheepies, which is, of course, what I call them. It's incorrect, technically, but I will accept it. Now, this is going to blow your minds a little. What is a group of sheep called? A gaggle, a flock, a flock, a sheep, a flock. Flock, flock. Flock, flock. Flock, trouble, too many sheep. Flock, flock, sheep. Flock, flock. Tish, you can't say if an answer is correct or note. Or note. You, so Ginny's written a fold. Um, is the, uh, I've been asked to repeat the question quite a few times. Am I not enunciating very well today? What is a group of sheep called? I'm going to tell you the answer. And there are indeed three answers I would have accepted. Emma, I'm not convinced, hasn't Googled because it could be a flock. It could be a fold. Or it could be a herd. A fold of sheep. Fold it all up. Now, if I do not get the answer I expect, I will be amazed to this question. Question seven, name a male sheep. You can't have too many sheep. I love them. Sorry. Mike's back in the game. We've got Ram Ram. We've got Bill. We've got Sean. We've got Ram. We've got Fred. We've got Tony Blair. Emma. Yes, I knew. Yep. Bob. Timmy. Bob. Mr. Black Sheep. I did when I wrote it. In my head, Emma went Bob. A Ram, a Ram, a Bob. Charlie's Bob has now infested everybody, hasn't it? sheep. Call him Billy, Curly Whirly. Oh, oh, I think I missed what Nicole wrote. I hope you realise how much my arm's hurting. Ah, uh, I've now, now scrolled all the way up and realised I've read it already. It is indeed a ram. And again, it could be a tup if in Scotland, because they call it a toop. Um, name for a female sheep, quite frankly, I think uh, you guys should be able to get that one. For all those getting confused, 
Les is Leslie. Tish is calling Les Leslie or Leslie Les. One of the way. Name for a female sheep. I think everybody should get this one, except for Emma, who says Bobette. Dolly. I think we were all going to get that one. Mrs. Sheep, true. She might not be married, though. It could be Ms. or Miss Sheep. It is indeed, of course, you, which is not me. It's you. It's not me. It's you. Um, name for a castrated male sheep. Now, Emma might get this was because she spent a lot of time on farms. Everybody else, no, nah, not sure. Wish I hadn't done that. Phyllis, ouch. Saw, weather, weather, bouch, weathers. Ravin with no eggs. Well, I'm no no where you has eggs. Bobbed, Billy, unhappy, weather, Bobbit. <laughs> it's reminding me of uh, yes, Bobbit. Yes, yes. Weather's unhappy, eunuch. Bobbed. Weather. There's quite a few of you actually getting this right. I'm very impressed. Ooh. Not a real ram. That's very long. They're not a real ram. Lorena syndrome. I think a neutered sheepy male. It's just as happy. Just doesn't have all that pressure of performance. It's actually weather. Now in the UK we have a chain of pubs called Weather Spoons. I want you to think about that next time you go to the pub. Last question. Would you put yew berries in a crumble? No, says Susan. No. No. No one knows the answers ahead of this quiz except for me. Yes, Nicole Wood. Only if the recipe calls for it. Um, no, 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 Tina Wood. No, 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 not likely. No, they are poisonous. No idea why not. A crumble is a pie? No, a crumble is a mix of flour, sugar and um, butter and you crumble it up. Ginny's saying yes, you just take the stone out. Nicole's saying are they poisonous? If so, I changed my answer to no. I don't think they're poisonous. No, you berries. Emma, I don't think they're poisonous. I would say that no, you would not put them in a crumble because they're actually female sheep droppings. I'm so naughty! I'm so naughty, I'm terribly sorry. No, you, W, E berries. We're talking about sheep. Boyfriend just had a sheep in his kinder surprise egg. Wow, they're making very large. How do they know if they're from a girl or a boy? Well, I guess you have to um, watch. I mean, I guess you know who you've got in the field, don't you, really? Do we still have Sarah, our newbie, who asked if she wanted to pay from Ben? I did. I'm very sorry, Tina. That was very, very naughty, but I saw a reference to it and I just thought, well, it was just too, too amusing not to. Now, I've already tried to get myself um, confused. No, I haven't. Right. OK. Moving. Ah, oh, Sarah. Good. How many did you get, Sarah? Have you made a note? 
we're moving on to our second round leslie only got five out of ten i've got ten out of ten yes sarah if it's your first time it might take you a while just to uh, get to grips with all the madness but don't worry it will settle and then you'll realize that we're all need help um so question one name the sheep in the argman animation No, Ginny is definitely not what the name of the sheep. We've got the first answer. We've got Sean, we've got Sean, we've got Gromit, we've got Sean, we've got Sean, we've got Sean, we've got Sean, Timmy, Sean, 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 Joe, Priscilla, Sean, 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 Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. Oh, hello, Sean. How are you? Did anybody watch um, John's tour earlier? Because I noticed that would you believe it he had Wallace and Gromit and Gromit of course Mike sorry that you got it wrong but who's Gromit who would say that of today Easter I think I've ruined one of the questions double check no I haven't you would have two virtual guides showing Gromit he always brings them does he how fabulous isn't it amazing? Do love these. These are actually about, um, they're over 20 years old. And yes, they still have their labels. So this, of course, is Gromit. I didn't really want the Wallace one. Sorry, John. Um, and this indeed is Shaun the Sheep. Now, which film did he first appear in? And we are talking, obviously, about Shaun the Sheep. Linda has no idea. No idea. Well, Linda, you have got some amazing television to watch. Amazing television. We've got the wrong trousers. We've got a close shave. We've got a close shave. We've got no idea. We've got Christmas special. <laughs> That's good, Tina. I like your creativity there. We've got a close shave. We've got the wrong trousers. We've got the wrong trousers. The Weir Rabbit. A close shave. Oh, Sean the Sheep close shave we've got we've got a close shave we've got a close shave between the close shaves Gromit is cheating on Wallace with Sean don't know this one if you haven't watched these you should they are I'm not particularly one for animations that much but they are very good we've got a close shave and um hold on I'm just going to listen to Sean because Sean's going to tell me um Sean the sheep and uh it's a close shave. Well done, everybody. Now then, what year? I'm afraid your wrong trousers, Margaret, are just wrong. What year was this? Dawn, of course it's not too late to take part. We're only on uh, the third question of round two. Oh, look at you, 2,000, 95, 95, 96, 99, 96, 98, 1990, 2003, 93, 96, 97, 95, 2000, 2003. When? Well, that's the question I asked. Which actually means scarily enough, oh my goodness. 97 um it's actually 1995 so well done to those of you who guess which means that actually they're older than uh, well they're nearly coming up for 30 years old would you believe what is wallace's favorite cheese sean 
Sean doesn't speak because he's a sheep. Just to be clear. Wensleydale, Wensleydale, Wensleydale. Hello, Ashrith. Hello. Wensleydale, Wensendale, Emmental. Wensleydale, Wensendale, Wensleydale. Oh, stop, 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 stop. And again, would you believe that I wrote this? And then I saw that John was going to Wensleydale. Now, where was Wensleydale first produced? Yes, Ashworth, they are beautiful Hello Kitties. Where was Wensleydale first produced? Halls. And I'm looking for a uh, county, Bolton, Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Jervelo Abbey. I think that Jervelo, Jervelo Abbey. Uh, by Ronnie, Cheddar, ooh, Cheddar Gorge, that'll be in Somerset, Javeau. Wensleydale, Wensleydale, Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Worcestershire. John told you. Well, I'm very pleased. Yorkshire, North Yorkshire. I've got one person who's written down uh, the answer that I'm looking for. Beatrice says Kent. Yorkshire Dales. Shovel, shovel, shovel. I wish it wasn't such a difficult. Javel. France, John's house, and the answer I have written down is North Yorkshire. Yorkshire is acceptable. Now we're moving away, I'm afraid, from our friends Wallace Gromit and, of course, Sean the Sheep. Who wrote Peter Rabbit? Interesting when all I'm seeing is the same word except for Dennis. Hello, Nat. It is, of course. Well done, everybody, Beatrix Potter. Now, what year did the tale of Peter Rabbit get published? And technically, um, Beatrix Potter published it first privately. I'm talking about when it was commercially published. Which year? I will accept a decade as I appreciate that um, probably not 1742. I appreciate that this is uh, perhaps not as recent. Oh, so near and yet so far one of you there. I've got I've got a range. I've got a range of, 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 of years coming. 1845 Linda B, really. 1920s, 1901, 1890s, before Pizzazz was born, that's yes, 1930s. Lots of uh, lots of different decades coming in here. We've got a couple of people who've got it on the nose on the nose and um 1902 so well done you Inga well done anything that was like the 1900s 1900 19 as in the decade or around well done now in 2006 the Miss Potter film was released released who played Beatrix Potter It was Robin, privately published in 1901, which is why I said commercially published was 1902. I'm loving the spellings, guys. Gosh, I don't think we've got one similar spelling so far. 
we've got Kate Winslet. Oh, that, sorry, that's the finger. Oh, Renee. I'll be honest, it's not an easy um, name to spell. Ooh. And of course, it is indeed Renee Zellweger. Please don't tell me. Oh, Streamlabs is stopping the, uh, the comments coming again. That's really annoying. Um, what year was the Peter Rabbit movie released? Oh, boing. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> Nicole thought it was gay. Dawna, I am, but if I use it there, it shows the finger. So I'm now using it like this. 1974, 2006, 2015, to 1975, 2018, 2015. Oh, so many. Oh, Nicole's corrected herself. Now, Nicole has corrected herself. Oh, not long ago, Janice Fields. Strangely, that's not written as an answer. Not long ago. Hmm. No, not a correct answer. David didn't know it had been in prison. <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> um, Linda's asking if you are all wildly guessing or do you know this stuff? Um, Linda, I never know. Sometimes I think Google's involved because who would know? I'd have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Ginny's thinking out loud. Or rather, thinking with your fingers. 2018, last question in this round. True or false, Potter was a prize-winning sheep breeder. True, 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 false, true, true, yes, yes, nothing like the book, but I enjoyed it. Oh, yes, she bred badgers. <laughs> true, yes, false, repeat the question. Was Beatrix Potter a prize-winning sheep breeder? Or, as Mike said, does she breed badgers? Did she? Because obviously she's passed now. She's not breeding anything. Breeding not a herder. Now, was she a sheep herder? Would have been a completely different question. Interesting. Sarah is changing her answer to false. And I am going to tell you the answer because otherwise there'd be no point in asking the questions. She was indeed a prize winning sheep breeder in the Lake District. There you go. Learn something new every single day. And of course, you know what it's time for now. You do indeed, you do indeed. And every time I think to myself, I need to get a better hat. Ah, oh, my nose! And every time I forget. Oh, Leslie's got five out of ten again. Well, that's ten out of twenty. See how I did the maths there now? One of these days it's going to rip. Well, that's what sellotape's for. Okay, so we are talking about the number of breeds in the world. Now, as I always 
This is the caveat. Always ruin my hair. This is approximate. The numbers are not static because new breeds will be happening all the time. Say, for example, um, you had a white badger that bred with a yellow badger, you would end up with a, a lemon badger. And that may only have happened last year and it might not have been added to Google. So this, again, do not take it as red. However, do we have a booby prize for awful scores? No, Linda, because as you all know, the most important thing about the quiz is to enjoy yourself and have fun. So if you do that, you're a winner. Now, tigers. There were actually, sadly, nine breeds of tigers in the world, but now there are only six as three, instinct, as three are extinct. Talking about tigers, let's move on to donkeys. Do we think there are more or less donkey breeds than there are tiger breeds? More or less, higher or lower, you know the drill, go, go, go. More, less, more, fewer. Well, we've already got a split vote. Tina thinks more, Beatrice thinks less, Claire thinks more, Mike thinks fewer. More, 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 less, higher, more, 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 lower. Oh, itchy nose, less, more, lower, more, less, hugs, more. Many more, higher. Any more on there? Any more? Any more? Any more? What do we think? So, tigers, there are six breeds. Donkeys, there are around 100 different breeds of donkey. Can I let that sink in for a little bit? Actually, 97 are quoted, but I added three because I decided some donkeys had bred more. Um, 97 types of donkeys. I only thought there was such a thing as a donkey. So there you go. OK, so we know that there's around 100, 100 donkey breeds. Let's move on to goats. Do we think higher or lower? Actually, talking of Eeyore, I have actually found one of the breeds of donkey. Sorry, sorry, stop playing with the cuddly toys. We're thinking lower, higher, higher, lower. If I had a donkey, I'd name it OT, so it's Donkey OT. Lower, higher, lower, higher, lower, lower, higher, 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 lower, lower, lower. Oh, very mixed. Lower, higher, higher, lower, more. Higher or lower than donkeys or tigers? So we are, we've, we've moved on from tigers. We're now comparing the number of goat breeds to donkey breeds. We're asking whether or not there are more or less goat breeds than donkey breeds. Wendy identifies with E or and we are saying so uh, we're saying it is higher there's over 500 breeds of goat 500 500 breeds uh, when I was in uh, Morocco I saw goats on trees um, literally a goat on a tree and you can check out my YouTube channel um, there's a, a video of a uh, male goat on a tree um, there's over 500 breeds I know it's a capitalization reaction no way there is way because that's what the interweb told me now then let's look at cats let's put my hat back Cats, what do we reckon? 
do we reckon there are more breeds of cats than goats? What do we reckon? Higher or lower, more or less? Higher, lower, higher, lower. Lower, lower, more, less, more, higher, lower, less, higher, meow. <laughs> lower, lower, higher, higher, lower. Oh, you're all really split on these at the moment. Lower, lower. Um, just so you know, Peachy isn't an actual breed. Um, she's just one of a kind. Higher, more. Very interesting, this very interesting indeed. And uh, the answer is... Lower. There's over 70 breeds of cat. Now, of course, when you uh, mix a, uh, say, a Bengal with a... Um, Persian, then you end up with a moggy or a half what's it doodle. But yeah, I have um, only had um, moggies. A few of them have had breeding in, but none pure pedigree. I love my Heinz 57. That's it. So they say over 70. And of course, the reason why you would know that is because you would recognise a lot of the cats that you will see. So if you saw a British Blue or a Russian Blue or an Abyssinian or a Bengal or a Persian, you would know. And of course, you'll never remember if there were over 500, would you? So let's look at rabbits. What do we reckon? Rabbits, higher or lower? There are more breeds of rabbit than there are of a cat. I'm not sure Thundercat's an actual breed, but I like your thinking. What do we think? Rabbits? More. Tish is saying more breeds of rabbit. More, lower, higher, more, lower, lower, lower. Higher, more, lower, lower, higher, lower, lower, higher, 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 lower, less, more. Higher, higher, more. Again, I would suggest a bit of a mix here. More, higher hugs. <laughs> more, lower, more. And with rabbits, it is going to be Higher, 305 breed of rabbit. I know there's lop-eared rabbit, there's a dwarf rabbit, and that's about my lot on rabbits. So let's think about sharks. Hopefully we've never actually come into contact with one in the wild. Do we think there are uh, more shark breeds than rabbits? Or less. Nicole saying lower. Lower, less. There's Bugs Bunny. Not a breed. Not sure what breed Bugs Bunny is. More, more, less, less, less. Oh, I think we're veering towards the lower. We're thinking lower at the moment, are we? Less, lower, 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 less, fewer, lower, lower, fewer, lower hugs, more, less, higher, higher. There are zero shark breeds, just many species. Mike, pedanticness doesn't work. Higher. Higher. Doesn't work for my breeds if I suddenly say species, does it, Mike? Technically, you may be correct, but it doesn't matter. Don't tell them all the truth.
So I think we've, uh, Mike has Googled, oh, Ronnie's back. She was off, then she's back. And we are saying that they are higher. There's over 500 brood species of shark. I know there's a bull shark. I know there's a great white shark. And that's about that. But that is fairly amazing, over 500. So let's go to our woof woofy friends. So I know that obviously uh, Wendy and David are going to get this one, right? Oh, Wendy and David are enjoying this. Well, I'm very pleased. Oh, we've got hammerhead shark, we've got tiger sharks, we've got the lone shark. Right, so dogs. Dogs. What do we think? What do we think? Is it going to be higher or lower? Daisy, come on, it's all on you. Less. Lower. Higher. Lower. More lower. Higher. Higher. Off, off. Oh, don't forget the grommet breed. More higher, 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 lower, higher, much higher than zero. It is lower, higher, lower, higher. Daisy knows the answer, but Daisy won't tell. Higher, fewer, lower, more, lower, more, hopefully more dogs. Don't know the question, but higher. Sprocket says woof. Of course, Emma. Sorry, Sprocket. I just didn't think Sprocket knew the answer because he's such a kid. Um, so we are talking about... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you are right. Uh, according to the FCI, which is the World Canine Organization, it's lower. There's 360. Now, what I don't think they're now talking about is if you breed something with a something and become a something, because then there could probably be hundreds. So these are the ones by the World Canine Organization. It's 360, which is less than over 500. And now we are going to go to ducks. And everybody who's been on my tours should get this right, because, of course, we've spoken about ducks a few times. So... Are there fewer duck breeds than dogs? Duckies? Lower less, it's ducks, I know. Ah, oh, you remember about the duck questions in the past, but do you remember the right answer? Lower, lower, more, false, lower, lower, much fewer, but lots of species. Lower, less, higher, lower, less, less. Less, more, lower, less. Did Daisy get it right, the last one? Wendy, I missed. Now, of course, if you came with me to Laybourne Lakes, and I know a few of you did, we talked about ducks. I hope to go to Laybourne Lakes at some time soon, see all shoulder dependent, and hopefully see some baby duckies. We've got lower, less, more. We've got woof, got much lower. And we would say ducks, there's over 130, so it is lower now we're going to move on to chickens chickens because ours don't go and ask the ducks they'll never tell chickens do we think there's more or less than duckies Lower, higher, more, more, higher, more, more, higher, more, more, higher, more, higher, more. Less, 
Less, less, more, 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 fewer. I think Tish is trying to do some sort of emoji answer. Duck, chick, chicken. Lower. And amazingly enough, chickens. There are over 1,600, which is, I know bantam, I know chicken. So they are higher. Ginny's brain hurts. That's probably because of the gin Ginny. And now we're going to move on to a horse. Not literally, unfortunately. We're going to move on to a horse. Do we think there are more horse breeds than chickens? 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 Who sits and counts chickens? Well, no, you don't need to count the chickens. You need to look at the different breeds. I know. Fewer, lower, less, lower. Lower, low, 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 low. Less, 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 less. Nay, no, much less. Less, less, less. Lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Don't check. Count your chickens. Guess less. Oh, guess less. Very, um, very tuneful there. Guess less. Lower. It, with the horse, there's over 400, so of course, it is indeed lower. And last one of the uh, higher or lower, and we're going to get moved to our favourite, and we're going to ask about sheep. Compared to the horse, what do we think? Higher or lower? Linda wants a Cadbury mini eggs. Well, you're going to have to wait until the end of the quiz unless hubby brings them to you. What do we think? Sheepies! Lower, higher, lower, higher, higher, more, lower, higher, 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 lower, higher, higher, high, higher, lower, higher, higher. I think we might be tending towards the higher, but we've still got a few saying lower. And of course, as you all know, that the popular opinion is not necessarily the correct opinion. Does anybody notice my uh, spangly, uh, spangly, spangly diamonds? Sadly, they're not diamonds. Inga can't think anymore. She's had too much wine. Marvellous. Marvellous. Inga's passed out. Uh, bought this in Athens, yeah, and I was uh, sorting something out and I thought to myself, I'm going to treat you all to a little flash, little flash of my ring, just to be clear. Um, it's wrong finger for marriage. Well, wrong hand, wrong finger. And indeed, sheep is higher. More than 1,000. And on one site, which quite frankly was ridiculous, because of course you tend to have to look at several different sites to get a consensus, one site said 10,000. So that blew my brain on the number of sheep. Um, my favourite is the one with the uh, little black face and the little white wool. Oh. Would love to see these in um, real life. Leslie got 8 out of 10 because she's super happy. I got 10 out of 10. <laughs> Go me! So we're now on to the music round. And we're going to uh, quickly whiz through these. Who sung Sweet Caroline? Sweet Caroline. Do -do. Do, do. Sarah got six out of ten. Well done, Sarah. Sweet Caroline. Do, do, do. Mike's got 100% so far. I'm not sure 100% what. 100% cheekery. Dawn got seven out of ten. Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond, I will, but I'll forget. Status quo, Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond. Big clue in the ring.
spring. Well, actually, it's Cubic Sakona. So um, it was, uh, in fact, Neil Cubic Sakona. Well done, everybody. You got that right. It was, of course, Neil Diamond. And what year was it released? What year did Neil Diamond release Sweet Caroline? Nineteen sixty-eight, seventy-two, sixty-six, seventy, eighty-one, eighty-five, seventy-two, sixty-seven, seventy-five, sixty-nine. Six nineteen seventy-six seven. Nineteen sixty-seven it was eighteen oh three. Might be stretching it. Sixty-nine, 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 twenty, twenty-four, sixty-seven, seventy-two, seventy-five, seventy-seven. Gosh, what a lot of years you're coming up with. Years ago in the 70s. Close but no cigar. Was indeed 1969. Who sung Sweet Like Chocolate? Sweet like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, nearly flipped the camera. Heidi from the Swiss Alps, Engelbert Humperdinck. You carry on, Mike. We're going to edit. Lizzo, never heard of it. Shanks, never heard of it. Shanks and Bigfoot, no question. No idea. Sorry, not no question. Shanks and Bigfoot, the Rolling Stones. I know this used to dance to it. Shanks and Bigfoot, never heard of it. Shanks and Bigfoot, no clue, no idea. Ricola Red. Not sure what the Ricola as is, uh, ad is, but it was indeed Shanks and Bigfoot, not Shanks and Bigfoot, Shanks and Bigfoot. Well done to those of you who got that. Which year? Shh. Who invented it? Chocolate? Probably. The Swiss. 1999, 2011, 1972, 99, 99, 98, 99, 99, 96, 3, 97, 99, 2000. Oh, bizarre! You're so close! Was indeed 1999! Hurrah! Oh, Sarah again, so close, 98. Name a song Leonard Skinnerd sang about a US state. Bear in mind the theme, guys. Bear in mind the theme for the music round. Freebird. Sweet home Alabama. And I do need Dawn with a full name for the song, not just the US state. For your full point. Ohio says Mike. Ohio. Leonard Skinnerd. Well, look at you all doing very well on your sweet home, Alabama. Question six, wet, 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 sang about a failed battle with candy. Can I spell it what? What can I spell? Oh, Leonard Skinnerd. no. Um, well, I can. It's L Y N Y R D S K Y N Y R D. But it was Sweet Home Alabama anyway. Sweet Home Alabama. 
Question six, wet, 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 sang about a failed battle with candy. We've got Waterloo Sherbet Dib Dab, Sweet Surrender, Sweet Little Mystery, Sweet Surrender. The trouble is when I do these and I always research and then I might listen to a look at a YouTube video of the music and then I end up singing them. And that's actually quite annoying for the day. Sweet little mystery. By candy, do I mean drugs? No, Ginny. Why would I mean drugs? I would mean candy, i.e. sweets, but that would have kind of given it away. It's actually sweet surrender. So well done. Tina, Wet 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 is a UK band. However, um, Wet 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 also made it across the uh, pond. I'm sure you know the song, which of course now, Love is All Around Us. And so the blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, however, Sweet Home Alabama, no idea. Um, right. Which US rapper sang at Candy Shop? So in answer to your question, no. Um, this is a US rapper. So, Tina, I know you're going to get this right. C. Well done. Ow. Robbie Williams, we've got 50 cent. Robbie Williams, of course, is very good old brightish. Donna says she's too old for these questions. Well, considering one was 1969, that cannot be true, can it, Dorna? Linda hates rap music. We've got 50 Cent. Sandra's going Usher or Drake. 50 Cent. 50 Cent. Frank Sinatra. Probably a little bit closer. Beatrice doesn't know any rappers, not personally. I don't know any rappers personally. Was indeed 50 cent. Got a candy shop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. Who, <laughs> Who remade I Want Candy? The original was the 1965 The Strange Loves. But who remade it? And this one I think Daisy's going to get. And possibly Sprocket, but Sprocket, I'm not entirely sure how um, with it Sprocket is, hearing about some of his antics. I can see Tina and Alberta looking at the moon and saying that one. We've got Bow Wow Wow. Linda's saying a female. Leslie's going Snoop Dogg. I love the way you thought there, Leslie. Nicole thinks it was the Easter Bunny. Daisy's asleep. Well, sorry, Emma. Sprocket's very clever, apparently. Bow Wow Wow. Rochefort-Sheen. And indeed, it was Bow Wow Wow. What year? That's the penultimate question. What year was the remake by Bow Wow Wow? 1980, 2024. I think now I know that you know that if you think you keep saying 2024, it'll get your point. Unfortunately, it won't. We've got after Dawner's time, we've got 81, 81, 78, 82, 84, 92, 84, 16, 92. 1982. I'm pleased to say some of you are getting this one right. I don't know how. 1989, 82, 82, 82. I never know whether or not some people just think, oh, there's a few people said that I'm going to say that, or whether or not they know, because I would never know. I would have absolutely no idea. 
but then of course I was I was not even born in this year <clears throat> and the answer is 1982 so well done and if I can say to you that 1982 was actually um, 42 years ago that makes us feel a bit <clears throat> Yes, Piers, we missed uh, Daisy's birthday. Last question of the music round and indeed of the quiz. Who sang Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This in 1983? And I'll be honest, I nearly only put the question in so I could see the uh, terrible spelling. So, Claire, thank you for the Yorug mugs. Nat has written the Uritic mix. Annie Lennox, Linda's gone for the easy answer. The Eurith mix. Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Human League. Annie, when she was with the Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Eurith mix, Annie Lennox. You're of mix. Annie Lennox was a singer. Oh, Claire's typing with a bad finger. I know you are. And I appreciate your dedication. And I'll be honest, I don't think I could have spelt it with a non-bad finger. Although now I just have an image of Claire actually typing and she's holding a bad finger. Like some sort of horror movie. Dave Stewart went to your school? Oh, very exciting. That's it. That's the end. The answer was indeed the Eurythmics. Um, I hope everybody did well. I hope, more importantly, everybody had a good time. And um, I hope everybody has a good Easter. Thank you very much for those of you who are able to send me a, a tip via my buy me a coffee or my PayPal account. It is much appreciated. I am happy to say I'm finally up to date on my thank yous on my buy me a coffee. Huzzah! Um, I obviously, as you know, still have a dodgy shoulder. Um, and um, I will be, I have got a, a YouTube premiere that I need to put up of the uh, Cheeky Girls, the last one that I did. Um, oh, Leslie only got two out of ten out of the, on that one. Um, and um, I, everybody, yes, indeed. Um, I'm glad you had fun. I forgot now. Oh, yes. So the cheeky girls. And also what I thought might be fun is because we're coming up to a year anniversary after Hey Go closed is that I would do a YouTube premiere premiere uh, of my Hey Go memories tour, which is one I did just after Hey Go closed, which spoke about Hey Go. And I think we had quite a lot of fun in it. Um, Mike got 138 out of 80. Well, well done. There you are. Um, I hope, Sarah, you enjoyed your... Uh, first quiz um i will of course be doing another one goodness knows when possibly may something around a may bank holiday who knows maybe um and then with any luck obviously the steroid on the shoulder will uh, mean that i'm able to have more movement in my arm and do a live tour so please if you're not already a member of Leonie on tour on Facebook please do join and of course if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel um so lots of love everybody um hope to see you all soon take care bye for now bye <laughs>